started year 11. I was in one of the, I was in a lower class in year 7 to 10, so I just, and I was having a bit of trouble handling the amount of work, especially in English. Then I was just having a hard time and distress, so mum said, why don't we get you a tutor? Yeah. And then I like gave sent mum some websites and then she sent me one and it was Gabby. And then we looked at it and then we got a tutor. I really liked um, Gabby's profile. It, she came across as a very nice, soft person and also a very qualified person and also someone that I would actually like my daughter to, you know, have all those little things underneath her name too when she's Gabby's age. It's a role model as well and I thought great age and, and she looked very nice and clean cut too, do you know what I mean? So yeah. So And I showed um, Chris, that's Paris's father, and we both agreed and we went from there. So the first thing I did, I'd already spoke to Nancy on the phone mm -hmm. and she told me the main thing she was doing with, with essay writing and Paris had ready for me past essays that I could look at and a creative story as well that I could have a look at and I worked through that originally and I could see immediately the areas where she was strong and the areas where like, her creative writing is fantastic but in her essays I could see that she was struggling with things like timing and mainly her language, sophistication of language. I could see that straight away. My yeah. teachers, like they help, but to an extent, and you can, like... Parents will always have questions to ask. I think that's the best thing about the tutoring, though, is because it's one-on-one, -on -one, you always knew that you had that hour with me, where any questions you had about English, you were like, okay, Gabby's coming then, I can ask her then, we can talk about it. It just gave you that structure that you needed yeah. to be able to manage the work. And I started writing questions in my diary. Yeah. To bring yeah. in things to ask my teacher. So the first thing we started to do was the glossary. So we'd have, every time we needed a new word, we'd write that there. Anything Paris didn't understand, we'd also add that in, and we started to include those in essays. We've also done a lot of past essay practice, because that's crucial for the HSC. That's it. short answer questions, and essays are what we focused on, because Paris was always quite um, slow with timing and the timing is a key thing and now you have come on leaps and bounds from that. I mean, we did a past yeah, one last, last week. week and you were, she was beating the time, you know, I was setting okay, three minutes for this and she was two and a half minutes and she had it done, you know, it's been incredible. But yeah, so I like the timeline staircase thing, so I did that with Paris, you know, we looked at everything that I had done that lesson, thought, okay, at this we need to work on this a bit more. That was really, really good. That was a big strength, okay? And then it just allowed me to evaluate and think, okay, this is what we'll work on next lesson. Before, when I when I didn't have a tutor, I went to write my essays. I kind of just didn't know where to start, if that makes sense. Like, I'd go to write it, and I'm kind of sitting there looking at the computer screen like I don't know where to start. So then I just, I'd leave it to the last minute. But now I'm getting it done a month before. So then I have on to it. time to practice, and yeah. we have time to go over it, and I can edit it. Like, that's probably the best part, the fact that I don't have to, I'm not so on the last minute. Like, I have it done, and so I'm stress-free. and I yeah, actually a little bit more like frantic when it came to doing her homework. As where now it's, it's you don't even notice she's even doing her homework. She's getting, getting 50s and 60s in year 10, year 9, yeah. around then. Yep. And um, my last exam I just got, I got 97%. Um, and I also got 100% on one of my exams last year, and then, but throughout I stayed between 70s and 80s most of the time. Yep. So they've improved. I'm coming first in standard so far in year 12. Yes. Which is really exciting because that was my aim, definitely. Yeah, it yeah. And we always wanted you to be at the very top of yeah. standard. And I didn't like, before I got my true life, I was coming, like I was really, you know what I mean, halfway through towards the bottom and I didn't think, but now I'm, I know I'm going to come first. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's the hope. Top of the class. I was planning on dropping out at the end of the year 10 because that's what my friend was doing. Oh, yeah. I didn't know no. about that. No, but can you, what did you say no. the other day when <laughs> someone asked you what you were going to um, at? I think I wanted to be a photographer. And so how has that changed you? Uh, I think I want to do something like a higher level education. Like I definitely want to go to university you now. It's a big goal for me. And I'm, really, and I'm even thinking about becoming a teacher. But later on in my life. Okay. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I can actually do that. And I didn't think I could do that. So maybe I can actually do this. Mm. You know? Yeah.
So I um, definitely get a cheer. Um, it definitely helped my daughter with her structure of um, everything, like school and social, I believe, because it's taught her to get everything into order. And I highly recommend it, especially for anyone that's, you know, if their child has got any um, prospects in their life and wants to go anywhere. Definitely get a tutor, yeah. It's definitely helped me a lot. I would say a lot, like it's helped me quite a bit through the past year. And I think it will help me a lot next year as well. Just take the stress off, kind of. Oh, Just, yeah. it will help me manage everything. Oh, I'm going to have Gabby tutoring Paris all the way through school if I can. When you see your child failing in certain areas, you, you want them to do the best. So, of course, you're going to go and make their life better, you know? Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I know how hard it is in the classroom to be able to give each student the individual attention that they need. You can't pay attention to everyone's strengths and weaknesses. Whereas with tutoring, you can tailor every single lesson to what they need to work on, focus on all of their strengths and weaknesses in a much more personalised setting. The only other way I could really express it is by getting up and going, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, especially when she brings the, she's not too scared to bring home her um, thoughts yeah. now, are you? Put it that way, hey. She's like, hey, you got to take me out for dinner tonight.